bamboo planted over a decade ago is now growing and coming out of our oven. Medium Latte, Extra Hot, episode 125. Good morning and welcome to another day here on planet Earth. I am your merry gardener and uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day leading up to Christmas. Uh, this is a quite a crazy story. Um, all gardeners, all professional gardeners know bamboo is an absolute nightmare along with Japanese knotweed. Uh, so we're going to dive into this story about bamboo. I've never seen, I've never known or heard of it to grow into a house, but this is this is quite fascinating. So we planted bamboo in our garden uh, a decade ago. Now it's coming out of the oven. Homeowners are landed with huge bills to remove plant and repair property damage. A homeowner has revealed he was left with a six thousand pound bill to remove bamboo after it grew into his oven amid a rise in complaints about the plant. So, how has it got in the oven? That's just weird. Doesn't even make sense. So it must have grown through walls. I, I know it grows through crack. It doesn't really grow through a wall. It'll just find a weakness. I think that's what normally happens. It'll find a weakness somewhere and it'll find its way up. Stephen Neville, 70, 73, returned from a family holiday at Centre Parks in summer of 2022 to discover the plant growing two metres high inside his kitchen. That's the thing. What I've noticed, bamboo is one of the most difficult things to remove. I did an area which was a small border and the client wanted it out of his border and for a, a laurel hedge to be planted and as a gardener you you, you can do these jobs but it, you have to make the person aware it's most likely going to fail because he had grown under the patio and was growing through the cracks in the patio so unless you rip the whole patio up and remove everything then and even even if you did that even if you did ripped up your patio and moved every single bit you will still have to have a like some kind of clause in the in the um paperwork i guess or even the even just the agreement that there is no guarantee that this is not going to grow back because it could be under the house so then you'd have to remove it you'd have to literally destroy everything to make sure that it's gone and even then and even then you still can't guarantee it. There's no guarantees. So I always told my client, I can remove it. I can do as best I can. I can try and weed kill it. But it, it, it is a brutal, brutal thing that just, they send out these long shoots and they're so hard that the roots are so solid. What tends to happen, you've got an ax. I've got multiple axes, mattox, pickaxes. What tends to happen when you try and chop at a root, it kind of just bounces. It kind of bounces off it's like it's almost feels in, in impenetrable you have to, it takes a lot of effort we were doing we were tag teaming it when we were getting that out and you normally get it out in big clumps but we had iron bars to leverage it out oh it was a nightmare anyway um the retire retire retiree had planted the bamboo in his garden over a decade ago but said in recent years it has wrecked havoc inside his Northamptonshire property with bamboo tendrils snaking their way into his patio of wait how did it go from from his patio oven patio oven patio oven and even his neighbor's lawn well even his neighbor's lawn that's that's kind of standard i would have gone sank his way through the lawn, patio, and even his oven. I like Japanese knotweed. Japanese knotweed. Oh, God. Right. Gardeners. Japanese knotweed. Gardeners. Um, we're not really supposed to touch it. If I take Japan, if I remove Japanese knotweed from someone's garden, take it to a composting site, and the composting site with their cameras, they generally have cameras, they know who's tipped rubbish and when. If they find Japanese knotweed and that I've tipped it, I will get up to £2,000 fine. So that's why I never touch Japanese knotweed. There are specialist companies that come and do it. 
Uh, unlike Japanese knotweed, bamboo is not classified as an invasive, invasive species under the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981, and there are no restrictions on planting it, even though it is underground roots. Its underground roots are more robust and travel further than knotweed. Yeah, knotweed, the roots are really soft, but what happens with knotweed is you just get the tiniest little little kind of little bit of root left tiny little fraction of root left it will then regrow and that does grow into houses as well and that is that is oh my god even more difficult despite this invasive plant specialist environet has seen a 900 percent rise in demand for bamboo related work in the past three years bamboo management and removals now represent 30 percent of their work with knotweed which is more commonly associated with property damage, accounting for 60%. Mr. Neville, a former managing director of an IT company, said the bamboo has now become a saga that has cost him thousands in repair bills. Here it is, coming out of his oven. That is super weird. Mate, you ain't getting rid of that ever, boy, unless you knock your house down. The homeowner initially consulted Environet, who excavated all the runners which had spread from the original area, including from the neighbour's garden, and then put a foot, a root barrier, in to contain what was left. Neville said, we planted the bamboo in our garden. Okay, we've read all that. After we were about to pay six pounds to remove it, which was a financial shock for just a bit of bamboo coming through the oven. Yeah, but it's not the bamboo, it's all the rest of it. It's around the house. Obviously, that's a tiny bit of bamboo coming through, but where is that coming from? It's coming from outside, where it's abundant. But a year later, the bamboo returned. He spent six grand, and the bamboo returned again through the bottom of the oven, exploiting a minuscule bit of a gap. Miss Neville said it's been over a year's worth of saga. I'm amazed at how much it comes through where the oven was. Again, I'm in that period now where you have to wait until the regrowth time again to see if that's been effective. After it grew out of control, we had to pay, how many times they told us about 6,000 pounds, we know. Uh, but a year later, the bamboo returned again through the bottom of the oven, exploiting a minuscule bit of gap. Wait, I, I swear I'm reading the same thing. This is like deja vu. There he is. Mr. Neville is waiting. Is he just waiting? Is he just going to wait there the whole time? Mr. Neville's waiting to see if the bamboo returns. So he's just literally just sitting there waiting in his garden for like, what, months, years? I'm waiting. It doesn't grow that quick, man. You'll be waiting at flipping decades, clearly. He's been there 10 decades waiting. Bamboo, which is often planted for screening, is becoming a costly problem. Nick Seal, founder of Environet, said the ever, uh, evergreen has to has the potential to do more physical damage to buildings than knotweed. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. The physical damage for sure. Knotweed kind of will just get in, but it won't really mm, can do damage. But this seems to do more because it's so solid. <laughs> so solid crew. He said bamboo is a vigorous and fast growing plant that has been steadily growing in popularity in the UK over the last two decades. But it's very difficult to contain and is virtually impossible to kill with herbicide. When you compare bamboo with knotweed, bamboo has more propen propensity to create more physical damage to buildings than knotweed. Environment said it has seen a two. They love their percentages in this. A 285% uplift in inquiries for bamboo services. Bloody bloody blah. Okay, we're gonna ditch that, ditch that. Have any of you guys got bamboo in your garden? I don't know if I have. Um, my friend, <laughs> I'd like. Oh, he's moved house actually. I might tell him. Don't put bamboo in your garden because he loves a bit of bamboo, but he seems to think. He can contain it. I don't know, mate. I wouldn't try. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to risk it in, in your house. So my friend, Craig, Mr. Toe Mouse, we call him. If you are thinking about putting bamboo in your lovely new property, your new... Oh, God. What? Um, your lovely new build, watch this video. Do not do it. You do not want to be cooking bamboo in your oven. Actually, my, 
might taste nice. I don't know, pandas eat it. Um, guys, what do you think? Sub subscribe, comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, have any gardeners out there dug out bamboo? Um, I try and avoid it these days. I had a client um, and said, oh, can you speak to my neighbor? She's having a problem with her bamboo. And I went and had a look at it. It was literally a driveway with a slither of like gap in the fence. The bamboo was in the neighbor's side, but it had grown into hers and up into her driveway. She goes, what can you do? I was like, rip up the driveway. <laughs> I was like, unless you're happy to do that, we, we ain't gonna solve this problem. Um, and then there's no guarantees. I said, to be honest, it's kind of out of my remit because I'm not a landscaper. I would happily dig stuff. I'm not gonna start digging up patios. Uh, well, I could dig it up, but I won't be relaying it. You'll be getting someone else to relay it. That's not my kind of my thing. Um, I put her off. I said, oh, honest, I don't even have the time. I wouldn't have the time. You'd need, need someone to come in with big machines and rip it all up. And she's like, Ugh. I don't think she liked hearing it, but it was a truth. It's not like you might get some gardeners that will come in and go, yeah, I can do that. Rip it all out. Looks like it's gone. And then it grows back. I like to tell people if it is going to come back, I will tell them it's most likely going to come back just so they, they know I, I can do these things. I can get it out of this section. But unless you deal with the ripping up the, <laughs> the driveway, you ain't going to get rid of it. And even that, like I said before, even that is not guaranteed. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you've been getting your little presents and I hope you're not going to leave it till the last day. I did mine yesterday, although it was a bit late. I've got most of mine. Mum and dad, you are away. I will get you some presents when you get back. Um, so we'll see you then. Take care. Bye.